Stacey Galandi, and this is Lux News Live, and my guest today is one of Las Vegas's finest plastic surgeons, Dr. Haley Brown. Hi, Stacey. I'm so happy to be here today. But now, for you, you could have probably had your choice of types of medical fields to go into. Why plastic surgery? Well, that was something I always wanted to do plastic surgery. And when I went to medical school, that was actually my intention. So there was never any question about what I wanted to do. And I grew up in a family of physicians. So I was always exposed to the medical field and spent a lot of time in the hospital following my dad around and things like that. And I was also always very creative and artistic. And even now art is kind of a second passion for me. Oh, great. And so, Dolly, right? yes, <laughs> I do a lot of, I, I do a lot of different types of art and different projects and I always have something going on. Um, so it was just actually the only medical field that it really combined the two where you can actually kind of see your work, where you can visually appreciate your work versus something like general surgery or something where there's no visual appreciation of anything. You just wanted to make sure the patient was well. So it's different and my patients are healthy and it's just a really fun, fun, exciting field to be in. Well, so now how many years have you had the Desert Hills Plastic Surgery Center? So I started, I opened up Desert Hills Plastic Surgery Center in Henderson in 2000. So we're going on our 18th year. And in that time, what do you think has been the key to your success and why your clients why they love you? Why do they? Well, why do they keep coming back? I think um, you know I'm one of the few board certified females here in Las Vegas, and I'm also a mother of four. So um, you know oh, I've been God. through a I mean, lot. Of, yeah, it's a lot, but it's a really nice balance. So, and I'm also really involved with the community, with the kids, and then we do a lot of charity work in the community as well. And so I think a lot of um, my patients, which are mostly you know female, I would say. Um, they just tend to connect with me and uh, we have a lot in common and I have a little bit of the mother the mom practice in town and so they just you know word of mouth and gets around and they just they just come so you know because obviously there's so many services out there of, like what you're providing so yes. in your instance what is it that you wanted to do differently perhaps that other practices are doing or what sets you apart from from other other surgeons that are out there well I'm really just driven um, by you know meeting people and I really enjoy like bonding with people and connecting with people and I have just a genuine concern for the patient I'm not um, you know my husband works with me and um, he's a board certified anesthesiologist and we're kind of a team approach and I just I love what I do and I take pride in my work and I really just want to see the best possible outcome for that individual who comes um, it's also rare and we're, me and Steve are the only people in this community who are a team. So you've got two doctors as a team working side by side and that really ultimately We love each other. Yes, we do. <laughs> so and we get along yeah. great and, um, and it just really translates into, you know, patient comfort and patient safety and um, so it's just a kind of a genuine joy and we love to do what we do. So, do you, Are you very specific with the types of procedures you do or do you pretty much do everything that's out there? I do, um, I love operating. So I, I am mostly you know, surgical based, I love doing that. But I do a lot of different things. I like doing facial rejuvenation and then I do, I have a huge experience with breast contouring and um, breast implants and breast lifts and reductions and then all the body contouring as well, such as like tummy tucks and liposuction and things like that and I, I love the variety I mean it really just it keeps me stimulated and it's you know every patient's different and right now I mean there's been a huge trend in performing what's called a mommy makeover which okay. is um, yeah. breast and body contouring all in one surgical setting and being that you know my patients are mostly mothers um, it's just it's been a very very popular procedure and I love doing those it's interesting yeah, so it is mostly women and yes. of the mommy age yes for me yeah that's what my practice kind of attracts and I, I, lo I love that because you because they also feel because like you're a mom too and yes. you know, so you know what you speak and yeah so it helps it, for someone like myself if I came to you um, on any given day what is what is it that you tell your patients when they come in there, you know, as far as unrealistic ex expectations. So, or I mean, I, I am not, a, I'm not someone who tells someone what they want to hear. I'm not a sugar coder by any means. I'm actually, I'm very, very honest. Um, if anything, I will under promise and over deliver. Um, because, I mean, I think that's so important, you know, to patient satisfaction and you have to work with what you have to work with. I mean, this is not magic. I mean, really everything is very logical 
and um, you want someone to look beautiful, you want someone to look natural. I mean, I think that's really important. Yeah, I, what's the kind of what feedback do you usually get from your patients? What are you hearing mostly? Patients, patients, I mean, if you get online and look at all my reviews, I mean, they talk about how bluntly honest I am. <laughs> well, that's um, good, because you feel that a lot of physicians out yeah, there know. are not. Or they're driven by, I'm not, you know, I'm not really sure, but. Um, huh. Um, so you hear that all the time that I'm almost brutally honest in a way, I guess, you know, um, and uh, you know, people just admire my work like a lot of, I've got a lot of before and after photos online, so it's like really like presenting your art out there, mm -hmm. and I get compliments all the time on the photo galleries and you know, the, the breast lift, the breast reduction patients and how good they look afterwards. So I just, I really take pride in everything I do. So if somebody were to come in and say, I want like a full facelift or something, and, yes. and I want, you know, I want to breast enhancement yes and if you feel that those aren't appropriate oh I will tell them. I will tell them okay. yes yeah I mean you have to be healthy you have to be motivated you have to have a great attitude and you have to be realistic or you know it's not gonna go that well for that person and they'll listen to you oh yeah they do yes yeah. and they'll try to do something else instead sometimes <laughs> so sometimes something. they all come back though and they all come back so everyone's charts get thicker and thicker and thicker so They'll come back for more, it seems like. Do you feel that you have accomplished all the goals that you set out for when you when you began this? Yeah, I mean, journey? Um, yeah, it's actually been it's been great, and I, I don't see myself going anywhere. I mean, the you know the practice is, is just blossomed, and it's um, I love what I do, and you know I can control my hours, and I can you know the patients. I've got just such a great clientele, and a lot of the patients have become close friends, and they come back and visit us. It's like a it's like a big family, and then. Just being able to work with my husband is just really unique and somewhat special, and um, I, yeah, I love it. I've got great staff too, which is which is a plus, and so we have fun. I mean, there's a lot of laughter in the office, and um, do people always ask you like, what's it like working with your husband? It's good. I mean, <laughs> or the baby, I think. no, I mean it's good in that you know he does his job and I do my job, and we're separated in the operating room by a curtain, so. He's in, you know, we, it's not like we're like on top of each other that way. I mean, I trust that, you know, he's taking care of the patient and he knows what I'm doing, but I'm not really talking, you know, I'm, I'm doing what I'm doing, so. <laughs> what do you see as maybe potentially trends for the future and how do you want to be a part of that or how do you feel that you're going to, um, you know, stay in that traditional space, do you think? Well, there, there's more and more technology coming out for facial rejuvenation and things like that. I mean, I do hope that at some point in the future there will be some sort of non-invasive treatment for skin tightening that um, is effective, and I'm waiting that. for it, and I'll be the first one to have it done <laughs> you when it comes me? out. <laughs> so. Um, but, um, so, so hopefully um, something like that. I'm hoping that one day they'll have a longer lasting Botox. Um, the fillers, we have so many fillers. We get new fillers. There's almost too many to use as well as the breast implants have gotten better and better. So we have so many choices when it comes to breast implants now with, you know, you hear about gummy bear implants and just different types of silicone implants. And um, there's a lot of variety to choose from. And, you know, breasts just, you know, you can get very beautiful, natural, long lasting results with some of the newer implants that are out. It's, it's implants as well as explants. Yes, and implants. actually the, the trend, which is national, and also I've really noticed in, in my practice is a trend towards smaller breasts. So, you know, you have a lot of women who've had implants in for a long period of time, um, and they just, they want to be smaller. And so what I do very commonly is I'll take implants out in women and then do a breast lift. And, you know, they'll have like either, you know, a, a fuller B or a small C cup and they'll, they'll, they can go around and look more like a model and not have to wear a bra. And um, people love that. And that's, that's definitely a trend I've seen in my practice. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For you, um, you know, cause you know, I'll, I'll brag about you because you're, um, the accolades, the awards, you're one of only three board of four, Board certified women in Las Vegas. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. But then again, how come so few women do you think? I don't know. Um, there's many more in some of the other, you know, busy cos you know, cosmetic surgery cities like Beverly Hills and Scottsdale and things like that. Um, we've had a few kind of come and go, but none have really kind of stuck long term and you know, the great thing about practicing here that I think is like we all get along. So we're we're close and um, yeah, I mean, all of us get along. Um, I just, I feel like I could count on any one of my colleagues for, for anything, for backup, for questions, for anything. And that is not common in the city. So that's one of the reasons I do love practicing here is because we, we get along and we support each other. We're not against each other. And I think 
um, that's an amazing thing. But why there's not more women here? Well, it's always been male dominated, I mean, this field. I mean, you know, it was, when I did my general surgery residency, I was like the only woman, but it was a long time ago, but I was the only woman. And I think it's just a long road to become a plastic surgeon. It's a sacrifice, you know. And, and to be successful. And then, you know, to well. balance having a family as well. I mean, so um, it's just, it, it takes a long time to, to get to this place. Mm -hmm. I mean, once you're here, it's amazing and I can control my hours and everything like that. But I mean, it was a hard, it, it was talk, a sacrifice. Talk to you like 15 years ago. <laughs> it was hard. I remember starting my practice and um, I mean, there were some rough days. I mean, I just basically started on my own and you have people saying you can't do this, you're never gonna succeed, you're never gonna be able to do this. And Does that make you motivated more to, to, to do it? It's scary. Yeah. The responsibility is scary. Just being on, just everything is, a, you know, everything you know and um, it's, it's stressful. And when I started, um, I worked at St. Rose Hospital and um, they actually kind of helped me move out here because that Siena Hospital had just been built in Henderson and they didn't have any plastic surgeons on staff and so they needed to um, to staff the ER. So for five years I did ER call. Every night I was on call for that ER. Wow. And um, through and then eventually built up the cosmetic you know practice which is actually my passion but um, it was hard. <laughs> it was hard and it was stressful. I mean there were like five years there at the beginning that you just question, you know. Everything. How did you get through it? Yes, or am I going to be successful? Or is, you know, you always worry about like, I don't know, people coming to you or not coming to you and um, and just being on call, like really 24 hours a day without being able to have, turn it off, you know. And, and so it, it was hard. I mean, now it's amazing, like I said, but yeah. it, it is a sacrifice at the beginning, there's no doubt. Just, you know, last question in terms of just at the end of the day, can you literally pat yourself on the back and say, you know what? This, this is this is what I've done, this is what I've accomplished. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, um, yeah, I love what I do, and um, yeah, I'm really proud of, of everything that I have accomplished, so, and I'm, I'm so happy that I've been able to have, you know, have children all, you know, raise four, you know, children at the same time. That's amazing. Any advice for somebody who wants to follow in your footsteps? Well, yeah, I mean, you really, you know, people say I can't do this, or I, I can't, you know, I've got to focus on my career and then have kids, and you, you, you don't have to do it. You can do anything you want to do. You, know, you just do it. And, you know, I was pregnant um, during my fellowship. I was, I was doing my plastic surgery fellowship for two years, and I was pregnant the whole time. Oh. And so I had back-to-back -back babies. I was pregnant the entire time. I took call. I didn't miss a day. Um, I was up all night doing trauma call, and um, you can do whatever you want to do. Yeah. I mean, you don't have to put one aside, or I mean, um, you just do it. You make it happen, and that's it. <laughs>